Hey everyone, this short video is going to show you how to transfer materials from one course to another. Right now I'm using a practice course which has some materials that were developed during our pandemic. It's called Practice 2020 and if you would like to join the course as a teacher to use materials, you may. My email is jmlambert at cerritos.edu. Okay, so let's begin. I want to show you that it is very easy to transfer materials from a course or out of a course or even between schools for those of you who are adjuncts and I will talk about that, but there are a few things that you want to take a look at and then some suggestions about what to do once that material is transitioned. So in order to either share or give materials, I always go to settings. And in this case, I'm going to import some course content. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna select copy a Canvas course. I'm gonna uncheck the include completed course box. The course that I'm gonna select is our remote teaching resources site. And then I'm going to select specific content. I do that because if you were transitioning uh, or transferring rather material from one course to another, you are not going to want to transfer those announcements and they will all come and you'll have to get rid of them. It, you know, it's, you can do it, it just takes time. So I'm going to select specific content. If you use due dates and times, your option might be to adjust events and due dates. It is up to you. Usually if you are transferring information or course materials from one class to another, if they are assignments that have due dates that work well in the spring, they tend to only work in the spring because the fall semester is a little bit different based on vacations and holidays. So I have chosen select, select specific content and I'm going to choose import and it's waiting for the selection. So I can decide to just click on everything and take everything. But what I'm gonna do just as a sample is I will go to files and I'm clicking on the arrow so that I can see the type of files that I might want to bring over. Okay, so there's 114, there's a lot of different course files. I'm gonna look at this one. And by clicking on those arrows, it helps to open them up. I am just going to take the English 100 discussion banner, just taking something and I'm bringing it over. So once I'm done choosing what I want between rubrics, pages, discussion topics, you can take the whole module and everything will come over. I am now going to click on select content and it will come over. Now I will share that if you are transitioning or transferring rather course content, you are going to want to unpublish that new course content and then you are going to want to only publish a single module at a time and as you get ready to publish the modules you want to go through each item to make sure that there are not any issues and a lot of times if you look at issues there are missing links found in the content and so you need to double check and see that those links work. Okay, so one last thing that I did want to show is for those people who want to transfer courses or modules from one school to another. I'm going to go back home and then I'm going to click on modules. Now I can actually share an entire class to Commons, 
but you can choose to just share a particular module. And so I'm gonna choose to share my sample orientation module. I will click on those three dots. There we go. And you can choose share to commons. Once you're open on commons, one of the things that I do just to make sure that I know where it goes, just in case I forget, you want to make sure that you take a few photos. You might want to take a photo of what you called it just in case. And what you can do here is you would choose public and you would say what type of content it is and you would answer all of these questions. You have to have a you know, a title, a description. You need to create a tag and you use an image. You would choose an image, any image that you want, they're free. And I try to choose something just sort of easy and quick, uh, but one that I will remember. And again, I take a picture and then you would put undergraduate so that everybody's not looking for it. And then you would click share. And what would happen at that point in time is that you can go to your other school, go to Commons, and then look for your module or class, and you can transfer it in. And that is all. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.